Just when we thought it was safe to rely on a few rookies, it was a swift reminder that the youngsters are going to throw you the eyed curveball as we saw by the disappointing returns from Tim English and Nick Caulfield. On the flip side, it was great to see that out-of-form premiums Tom Mitchell, Zach Merritt, Adam Trelor and Lachie Neal have all responded to their training camp on Moron Mountain and returned to legend status, while it may be time Patrick Dangerfield made an appointment for a visit. Fantasy pig Jared Polak has been flying under the radar, but maybe not for much longer after a thumping 156 against the Roos. That ranked him the highest scorer for the week and leaves him with a break-even of just 68. He is now averaging 108 for the season and has an ownership of less than 1%. Honorable mention, Adam Trelor was coming under plenty of scrutiny a couple of weeks ago, but he has certainly turned things around, much to the delight of his coaches. Having underperforming, top-priced, premiums can be tough, especially when they have a low ownership like Trelor, but with the Pies star now back in hot form, he is sure to be on the radar for many coaches. His three-game average is an impressive 135 and he has a break-even of just 81. From the two's big rue, dropped Sun Impress Rage trades Patrick Dangerfield has not looked himself and certainly hasn't scored like his coaches expect. Once again, he spent a lot of time forward and often looked disinterested on his way to just seven kicks and a goal for 70. When you couple this with the fact that he spent a large chunk of time on the bench in the last 10 minutes when that game was on the line, it would suggest he is playing injured. With his price plummeting, many are suggesting jumping off. Honorable mention, Jack Billings had another shocking return for a player selected at a 2017 average of 90. Usually I am a strong advocate for holding premium players but unfortunately he is doing nothing to suggest he is in that bracket. If you can find a way to offload him, do not hesitate on the back of his 64 points, which included another inaccurate outing of one goal and three behinds. Piglet Kobe much had job security concerns, but he certainly gave everything he had in order to hold his spot. Looked right at home on the big stage, collecting 20 possessions and taking 6 marks while using the ball at 71% efficiency, for a score of 71. If he holds his spot, he will be a great downgrade target next week. Ben Ronke was outstanding on debut for the Swans, despite the tough introduction to top-level football down at Geelong. He collected 15 possessions, but it was his pressure and goal kicking that provided the highlights with 7 tackles and 2 goals contributing to his 78. Even with Star Swans returning to the team in the coming weeks, it is hard to see him losing his spot if he can continue to dish up performances like that. Two targets Adam Trelor, Kobe Much, Zach Merritt, Lachie Neal, Brett Delidio 9 Things We Learned, The Cats Massive Midfield Concern Fantasy Mailbag Paul C. Demon or Elliot Yo? Hallman and Caulfield to Much and Duncan thoughts. At Royd at Calvent at Warren Yate at Morera underscore magic. A traditional downgrade and upgrade trade used to grab an underpriced premium. Are you legends doing the usual Monday podcast this week? Goonbag Fantasies at Fantasy underscore SP17 April 29, 2018 Yes mate, straight off the plane from Perth into the studio, it should be an interesting episode. Scored 2,122, index pointing up 9,658 went up 10k positions this week. Joshua Ireland at 5 quarter April 29, 2018 For more, follow me on Twitter, at Royd Get expert advice from the traders in the Fantasy Hub. Follow AFL Fantasy on Twitter and like the Facebook page to join in the conversation.